Nina. Nina, where are you going to? This one you came out, it's a man of Atom. Now come, let's go back home. Hey! Come, let's let's go. Let me. Hey! Nah. Let's go. What are you doing here? Is your mother aware that you left the house? Nemeka, I'm talking to you. What oh, are you doing here? Moon. I've said it before. In your space, can you swear below Yibo? I don't have space. I don't have space. Let's speak English. I want to I'm not like English. I want have space. No one can militate against my freedom of movement. No one can actually militate against my freedom of speech. Imagine the audacity, the vivacity, and the encompassity, and the prudence, and the leverage, and the expressive nature of Ada Ada Ewo. Hi. Oh, wow. Eh? Just a handsome, promising young man. Running mad. Eh? And I'm sure now that the mother do doesn't know that he al already left the house. Vroom. Vroom. Let me talk English. I suspect. Too much English. Eh? Mama. Eh, I'm in one ma. Hey, Pick one name. Did you see my son? Nemeka. Mm -hmm. I said it. For him to have left home, that means somebody was not at home. You saw him? I saw him, Mama. I, I tried to bring him back home, but he nearly beat me, and I don't want a mad person to. That time when my son was in here, he's not a madman. My son is not mad. Please come and show me where you saw him. Can they go or not? Let's go. He's not on the way. Go, 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 go.
But it will not work for you. The God that I serve will not let it work. Okay, and the people that have hand in this your, your condition, they will not rest until they release you. Come on, you want to kill me? Come on, Biko. The black men in sub-Saharan Africa are slaves. Solani, Solani. Obi, Biko, Obi, Obi. Oh, the black men in sub Sahara Africa are slaves because of this paper. And all the presidents in Africa are slaves because of this same paper. But I, the son of man, can never be a slave. Because there's a cloud from all corners of the heavens. I. Nemeka, why did you leave this house, Nemeka? Why did you leave this house? Do you want to kill me? Why did you leave the house, Nemeka? Why are you stressing your mother like this? You cannot. Hi. Oh, I know my rights. Hmm. You cannot intimidate me. No, listen, you cannot intimidate me. I know my rights. You don't have to talk to me like a fugitive. It is so condescending and demeaning for you to talk to me in that manner. Hey! I was just returning from the market when Ndidiamaka confronted me and reliably informed me that Nemeka ran away from the house again. Is it true? Is it true? I don't know what to do again. 
This is just too much for me. Calm down, calm down, calm down. You're just sounding as if we have lost him. But no, no. Eh? We will get to the bottom of this, okay? You when Columbus invaded Cyprus, they knew that the end has come. Oh, yes, they knew it. Hmm. Listen to me as I speak. Pay attention. Naswajo Ibo. You see, King Nebuchadnezzar, your reign would have been a better one if you had listened to me. You were not paying attention. If you had listened to me as your personal assistant on kingdom related matters or kingdom issues, your reign would have been much better. <laughs> That's all you bro. 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 Munyadim, is there food in this house? Eh? It looks like he's hungry. Um, please, there's uh, this food I covered uh, and kept on top of the chair inside the kitchen. I was making his food. Oh, so for me to good. come out and discover that he has disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Udoka's house. They said in Nemeka, they ran away from the house. And they went to see the mother to know uh, how they did such a mistake. And you left my house to go and see the whereabout of an idiot whose father's wicked commitments made mad. You left everything you bought and couldn't even cook for me when you are aware that I'm coming back home. Eh? Yeah. I'm done with cooking the food. We just left with uh, adding uh, ogu leaves, okay? But now, you should be mindful of how you talk about Udoka's family. So people will not start thinking that you knew anything about his mental illness. Woman, I say my tongue down, strike that you're dead in mouth. Yes. For talking to me in that manner. Nein. Who told you that I'm afraid of anyone saying rubbish? Look, let me tell you, whatever they like, let them say. Mnembeka must continue to run mad hey. and die like his wicked father. Hey. For the last time, never in your life, talk to me in that way. Nonsense. Nde Chelsea, e kwen swa ge mero no naga o simba o. Simba o mwa choku simba. E kwen swa ge mero no naga simba o. Ajo mada ge mero no naga simba o. Asena, onu no naga. Onu ne kwen su no naga. Onu no naga. Onu ne kwen su no naga. Oh no, 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 no. Nemeka, with those dirty hands of yours, you didn't even wash your hand and you're eating like that. Macheke Kwaka. Nay. Oh, drop it, drop it. Drop it. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Macheke Kwaka. Wash it. Wash very well. Wash very Wash very well. Wash very well. Your hands. Nay, make it easy, easy. Okay, you can eat now, eh? You have killed me. 
a boy I, I, I trained in the university with all I have. Look at him now. Negodu. But the people that did this to my son will never go free. They will never go scot free. Hey. Hey. Uwamo. My only son. My only son. Oh. When Comrade Wawo stood at the Niger Bridge in the eve of the war, no man dares. What a fearless and gallant soldier. Hmm. May Jah bless him forever. Mm. Amen. And I'm so you go. No. Very well. Hmm? Very well. I do you go. Yes. Can you see go there below you? Can you see below you go? Mba. Eh. Eat first. So well, after eating, I yes. I won't waste your time. Just I know, I know. I won't waste your time to eat. After eating, I yes. Is Morocco close to Spain? Yeah, very close. Ah. Hi. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I suppose you're a student of this institution, right? Yeah. Uh, um, what's happening? Why is everybody everywhere looking so scanty? Are you guys on an emergency vacation or <laughs> as well as a stroke again? Uh, they should be in class. I'm even late, sir. You seem to be looking for someone. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, I'm. Um, there is this lady I'm looking for. Her name is um, Chiamaka Ukeze. She's in final year economics department. Yes, uh, she's, she's, she's quite uh, pretty. She has a bulgy eyes, fair in complexion. Oh, I think I know her. You do? Yeah. Please, uh, uh, please do me this favor. You said you are running, running late, but I'll be glad if you do me this favor. Eh? Please help me call her. Tell her Collins came to see her. I already called her, but it seems she's in class or something. So just tell her I'm calling. I've been waiting. Eh? Will you do that for me? I will, I will call her. Thank you. I'm with you. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. My love. Oh, babe. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. You made me wait too, too long. Huh? Sorry. Why one? I was busy, don't mind me. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, I'm so sorry. First of all, I need to apologize. I should have been here yesterday, but I <laughs> my car developed an issue as you can see. Are so you I, yeah. So I went to an automobile workshop to fix it. That's why I couldn't come yesterday. I'm sorry, eh? It's so fine, sorry about day, your we car. Yeah? I'm not angry. Are you sure? Mm -mm. I thought that was why you weren't picking up my calls now. No, I didn't know. My phone was on silent because I was in the lecture room. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So you sounded nervous over the phone yesterday. What was the problem? <sighs> my love. It's my mother. She said my brother's condition keeps worsening by the day. Brother's condition? The brother has been ill that I never bothered to tell me. <sighs> Honey, it's a long story. Just don't worry yourself. But I hope to go to the village and return back before two weeks for my final exam. And also my research project is taking a lot from me too. I think I understand. I can relate. No problem. In that case, I'll, I'll send you something, eh? Yeah? You will? Before the end of today, I'll send you something, just... Thank you so much. For nothing, yeah. So, when exactly are you leaving, sir? Mm, um, I'm looking at three days' time. Three That's days. if I'm done with what I'm doing. Oh, I see. Uh, if I must ask, what's, what's your brother's condition like? What's, what's the matter with him? <sighs> Honey, it's a long story. Mm. The whole thing just started like a joke, and 
Before we knew it, he started getting worse. I can't even explain what is really wrong with him. Where did you go? You left when the prof is still lecturing. The prof asked for me. So he called the names of those that do not have his textbook. And the book alone carries 30 mark. I'm rushing to the bookshop to buy mine. The bookshop? Yes. Why the bookshop? I thought he sells the book himself. That is what he said. And I'm going to buy my own. <laughs> my dear, I cannot lie to you. I don't have any money to buy any textbook. Why? Hmm. It's a long story. The only money I have, I want to use it and transform myself to the village. My mom called and said my brother's condition is worsening. Hey. I don't even know what to do. Huh. Everything we've done to help my brother, all of them, they've been proved abortive. I don't know what to do. Though my friend that came said he will send me some money so I can use and all that, but I'm not sure. I've not seen the money. What if I now use the only money I have to go and buy the textbook? My sister, I wouldn't have any money to travel to the village. So I would rather just leave. My friend sends the money. I'll buy the textbook. I understand, my friend. Don't worry, I'll buy for you. Let's hmm? go to the shop. Yes, you will. buy for me? I will. <laughs> Thank you so You're much. You're my friend. You buy for me? Mm -hmm. Chai, if you God bless you. Serious. Why is he saying we should buy the textbook like that? Why is he making him ungrateful? So as he stands now, I don't know what is wrong with him. Because we have not seen such in our clan. I know their grandparents. Such a thing did not occur in their time. We have made consultations. Though the whole thing seemed not clear. But the men the men of that clan should work more so that it does not get to the marketplace. Hmm. But there are speculations that Mas Yudimba knows something about what is wrong with him. Hmm. Udemba is in the father's junior brother. Though they had long-standing issue when Nemeka's father was alive, and most of the issues we are not resolved even after the, uh, the, the man's death. If he had a hand in Nemeka's problem, I don't know. Time will tell. Because he doesn't care. I personally called him to go and find out what is wrong with he, his brother's son. But he keep ignoring me. Papa, I think you people should call that man to order. Hmm? Tell him to go and do whatever he did to that boy. Because that's wickedness. Gross wickedness. Such a promising young man just just rendered him useless. Papa, th th this is not nice. Okay, imagine the other day when um, his wife came to see Nemeka's mother. Mm. Immediately, Nemeka cited this woman. You need to see the shout he let out. Huh? It, it could be heard the whole village. It was serious. Can you imagine that? Papa, th th you need to talk to that man who... I don't even greet him when I see him these days. I'll just walk past him because once I look at that man, I see, I, I see a very wicked and evil man. I don't know what happened between him and Nemeka's father, but whatever happened does not justify what he did to his son. This is somebody's only son. And that's how he, he has rendered this boy useless and, 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 and stupid. What kind of evil is that? Well, it's all right. The time will tell. We will see to the end of it all.
Adam would have told God, God, I don't want this creation. But Adam was made to sleep for a reason. Oh, I know who you are. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I set you free from bondage of Satan. Be free in the name of Jesus. I cast you out. Lose your host. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I cast you. Amen. I bind. Lose your host in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Fire over you. Fire. 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 Amen. Power of the Holy Ghost arise. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I cast you. I bind. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be free. In Jesus' name. Amen. I cast you out. How dare you? How dare you make such a derogatory utterance? How dare you speak such derogatory language? Who said I am not free? Tell me! Who said I am not free? Oh! As a great student of history, what happened in Aburi Accord in the presence of General Ankara in the year 1967 was nothing but the breach of agreements. And then the people go back and blame the late general who fought for the liberation of his people out of love. You, you look like a slave. <laughs> You're a slave, my friend. I am a free man. I am a free man. I am a free man. You lie. You lie! I come against you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Out! Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Out! Amen. Fire the Holy Ghost! Fire the Holy Ghost! Amen. Fire the Holy Ghost! Amen. Fire the Holy Ghost! Fire! 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 Lose the house! Amen. Out! Be free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Ghost are right. Holy Ghost are right! Holy Ghost are right! Holy Ghost are right! In the mighty name of Jesus! I command you out! 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 Jesus! 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 I speak oh. English! Jesus! I has it that I, Nameka, I, I will fix this nation. I will fix this nation. The agreement in Aburi Accord should have been cut. And that is because of this. My freedom is coming so Trying to hold him. He will wound you. He gets more wounded. Hi. Don't worry. I'll fix this. Hey. I'll take care of everything. Hey. Mama, hey. your family is a great family. But surrounded by unfriendly friends. Hi. Household Hi. enemies. Don't worry. Your son shall be freed soon. Amen. He must be free. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Man, I knew it's man of God. I knew Don't it. Worry. I know it's man made. Oh. Don't worry. But the people that did this to my son. It's okay. Hey, it's Jesus. Okay. Oh. I shall be organized. I shall be organized. Hey. special prayers for him. Hey. Hey. We will hey. pray for him. Amen. And enemy has done this. Amen. It's man made. But don't worry. God must be him. You are not giving me my food. Give me, you come, you, you. You, the other guy, yes. You come, 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 come. Master, please help me. I have stepped my foot into some places I'm not supposed to. You are a Christian. And you should not allow the devil to drag you into some evil areas. Our Lord Jesus, we save your son. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Evil forces are behind what is passing through right now. Just imagine what happened. Don't worry. Like I said, the prayer warriors will step in. Thank you, Pastor. I am waiting because I am tired. Mm. 
of all the money that I've spent, all of them are just gone, just like that. God. Pastor, I am sorry for what happened to your car. You don't have to be sorry. I said I will take care of it. Um, what about his uncles? Are they not doing anything? Pastor, please, I don't want to talk about that. Because I, I know that one of them knows what is happening to my son. But well, my God will expose him. It's okay. Just be prayerful. And see what our Lord Jesus will do. He must be free. The power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. No matter what I do. Why have you decided to hurt me like this? This is not your promise to me. Oh, this is not your promise in America. Why did you destroy the pastor's car? Why? I am not the cause of the glooming in this nation. It is highly a sardonic situation that everyone must bear. I advise we all go back to federalism. That is the only way this hey. nation would move. Hey! 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 Who did I offend you? Hey! 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 What is it? Why are you crying like we've lost him? I suffered years of childlessness. Shh, shh. And it was so hard for me to conceive. But finally, and God blessed me. I was able to conceive and I behaved the both of you. My late mother-in-law, your grandmother, she almost convinced your father to get another wife. But God answered me. Nemeka's birth changed the whole narrative. And now look at him. Nenia! Oh no, he destroyed the pastor's car. Oh, just is a we scream, Pastor. He destroyed the pastor's car. Oh, Kualia! He's just spoiling this. What? Nemeka! You destroyed the pastor's car! Get him, Nemeka! I'm going to not him! Hey! It's what the nation needs to move forward. True federalism. So go ahead, go ahead, go I am tired. He destroyed the pastor's car. He destroyed everything. You need to see the way he's fighting. Hope you know what the pastor. Let me see this. Who did this to my son? Why did you My son will judge me for that. I'm not the one that was my son. I remember those days when your brother was the crush of every girl in this village. <laughs> Very handsome man. Intelligent. So brilliant. Very hardworking. Too intelligent. Like, sometimes I ponder how God created him. You know, his name was on the lips of every single young girl in this village. <sighs> Do you know what they call him then? Watermelon or Momo. Hi, Nemeka. My sister. God has forsaken us on this one. Nemeka was a ray of hope. He gave my family a new life after the demise of my father. But well, look at us now, now. Our enemies have cut short our joy. They are now laughing at us. The most confusing part is he doesn't even take alcohol. 
Neither does he take hard drugs. No psychoactive substances. Ama maybe in Kasi. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Take it easy. A queen money here, dog, could get me a joy. You just need to be strong for Mama. And believe me, everything will be all right. Hmm? I should take it easy. Amanda, you're not another person. This thing gets worse by the day. Each day, there is another thing added to the madness. Is there anything we've not done to, to, to help Nemeka's case? Amanda, we have gone to many churches, hospitals, psychiatric homes, Kebaya Agabe. Yet, everything has been proved for time. We are tired. There is nothing to be done again. Maybe it will be all right. Only also manga wagi. The only thing I know is Nemeka was not born mad. And as long as he wasn't born mad, he would definitely get better. He will. Also, the Aburaka Madumaka Mo, he will get better. Just hang in there. Eh? Hang in there. Everything will be fine. You know go. Meanwhile, Kema Kabobogi. How is Collins? Hmm? Mm -hmm. How is Collins or something? Amanda. Uh-huh. Amibo. Which one is Amibo? What is funny? The way you diverted everything we are saying now to Collins. Hey, what, what, Collins what else do you want together? us to talk about? Not be peace without war. Don't touch me, don't touch me. There cannot be peace without war. I must fight for my freedom. Freedom does not come cheap. The memories of what I read on how over three million of our people were killed is still stuck and truncates me. Listen, listen, it's not something for you to get worried about. The most important thing is that there is still hope. Yes, he still remembers what he read in school. Because everything he said now is true. How is it related to this? No. What I meant to say is that there is still something we can do to gain his sanity back. Huh? Me Meanwhile, I think we should stop giving him more of food. We should be giving him fruit instead. Fruits, yes. With which money? Amanda, do you know how much we've spent on sugar mega? Do you know how much? Me, I'm even thinking of dropping out of school. I'm tired. All of us, we are tired. Calm down. Who is she? Who is she? Just, just take it easy. It has not got into that. Why would you drop out of school? Because of what? Huh? Just, just take it easy. 
Um, you know what? When I'm coming back, I will get I'll get some fruit for him, okay? Just try and sweep up this place. Then clean it up. No problem, I will. No, just take it easy. Yeah. Everything will be alright. Why you why you bruni cake and many no? Take it easy. Everything will be alright, you know go. Catastrophe at the P in Suka that afternoon when Chukuma and Zogu and Tombiga Odumego Juku were invaded by their enemies. But you know what? That afternoon, the invaders died with them. The invaders who suffered from catastrophizophrenia. Oh, what a fallen! The end of a race. One, one. And I'm as well, Yvo! You are good, you'll be good. Hey! Hey! And I'm as well, Yvo! Hey. Chief. Hey. You're here. Yes. How did you locate me? Um, from the direction you gave me, I. I was able to get to the marketplace and then I I saw some kids and the moment I mentioned his name, they all seemed to know him. So he's the one I suppose. Yes. He's my father's only son. <laughs> my mother is dying slowly because of him. <laughs> we don't even know what to do. <laughs> it's okay, no. but I need to know. Be before now, has he been taken to any, perhaps, a psychiatric home or something? Yes, yes. He stayed there for months. He has also been taken to churches, but my mom vowed never to step her foot in any fetish place. Or even native doctor's home. <laughs> that shouldn't be the case because in a situation like this, you have to explore possible options now. Eh? Is the churches you people visited, what are they saying? They are all saying the same thing. Oh. <laughs> they say this man made. Man made? Yes. I just pray God shows mercy. Shows his mercy on us and my brother gets well. We are tired. Don't, don't, don't. Calm down, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, the thing is, eh, before now, did he have any argument? Was he involved in any quarrel with anybody? Like, is there anybody you are suspecting? It's, it's not like we are suspecting anyone. But we know it's my father's brother. My uncle, <laughs> he had 
an issue over land with my dad. <laughs> Along the line, my dad died. And my brother warned him not to step foot into the land again. And after some days, this whole thing started. <laughs> <laughs> so, so invariably, you are saying your, your uncle is also responsible for your dad's death. Yes, yes, I this. Oh, yes, I just pray God shows his mercy. This world is not conducive for myself and my family. We are tired, baby. We are tired. <laughs> Bros, bros, daughter from Obaka, working at Soibo. Mm. You are good. And you seem to be very intelligent. <sighs> Have you decided on the next thing to do concerning your boy's predicament? Because I'm amazed what he displayed the other day at the end. He's not getting better at all. Mm. My sister, I don't know what else to do. But we are we are looking on to God. Eh? We are looking on to God for his mercies. Everybody in this town believes Udemba has a hand in what is happening to your son. Have you tried confronting him? Udemba has not stepped his feet into our compound to check on my son Unemeka. But I don't care about him. All I know is that whatever he has done to my family and my son will go back to him a hundredfold. Amen. Look, I say a very big amen to this prayer. So, But I'm not just happy at all that you sit and sleep over this issue, even to this moment, without doing anything. Eh? There's this Ibu Ade that says, Amen. My sister, what do I do? I don't know what to do. Eh? I have tried numerous pastors, but all efforts prove abortive. I don't know what else to do. I'm a Rosen. There's this strong prophet I will take it to. That's only if you are true. Because me, I don't like this idea of wasting time on issues like this. Whatever you are with, I will take it to you. That's only if you are true. There's no problem. I will follow you. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Oh, come for my brother. Mm. That's good. I called you here for us to deliberate on what to do about my nephew, Nemeka. Nemeka? Yes. Uh. It is true that I was having an issue with my late brother. Mm. Because he was trying to claim my mother's portion of land, which outrightly belongs to me as the last son. Huh? But my son just called me that he went to come and take him to a psychiatric hospital in the city. Psychiatric? Eh? Hey. Ozokwa? <laughs> Was it not the place they took him and they said uh, uh, you wanted to kill his staff that wanted to stop him from escaping? That you wanted to take him again? Mba no no no. Mba no. Ha! Udemba, are you a learner? You and I know that this matter is far more beyond medical. Oh, but I go spiritual. And it must be dealt with spiritually. Ha! Ah. Personally, I feel somebody is after that boy's life. Then why are they accusing me? Hmm. Why are they accusing me? Hmm. How can I have a heart of killing my brother? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Or making my own blood mad? Banner. Anyway, I have taken everything with good faith. Please, just, just take it. Just remo remove it from your mind. So, what do you suggest? Well, Ude, if you ask me to say oh, my own opinion, I feel that um, we have to look for answers. We have to really seek for answers. Even if it means seeking for them in the darkest of all places, no problem. As long as we get solution, before it gets too late. That is what my I, I feel. I hope we are not going the same direction. I don't understand. Because my family is a devoted Catholics. Ah. Yes. You know your family I will devoted the Quensu. No! My own family is a devoted Quensu. What are you talking? 
whatever you want to do, you do. As you go, that is my own opinion. And that is final. Ha! Devoted, devoted Kali. Because what is keeping Ngozi now? I thought, I thought the salad. Is the salad soup not the ready? The woman! I'm very hungry. Oh. Please, follow up, follow up. Uh, let your cook for my friend. Very good. Before devoted Kali. Thank you for taking care of my Amanda, Mama, good afternoon. No, good afternoon, oh, sir. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Bye now. Mm -hmm. I brought the food like I promised. Hey, Amanda, thank you so much. You worry yourself too much. No, it's not. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Collins, I know you've not met her before. Amanda, this is Collins you asked of. Collins, my friend Amanda. Uh, you're welcome, sir. Pleasure. I've heard so much about you. <laughs> and thank you for everything you do for my friend. God bless you. Uh, <laughs> it's nothing, eh? God bless you too, eh? Thank you. Uh, apparently, you have a good heart. And that's so admirable <laughs> hmm? for a beautiful girl like you. Hmm? So you brought food for Nemeka? Oh, yes, I did. He does not like to eat food, so he likes to eat fruit. Whenever I'm coming, I decide to buy it for him. Yeah, Thank you. Bless you too. She has been helpful since she came back from school. Thank you. No, it's okay. She knows her way to the Hindin mountains of Jehoshaphat. She abducts and she does not have mercy at all. Honor my belly. Do you have space? No, not you, the fair one. Do you ask the one at the extreme? You may have space. Can you swear below you, bo? I won't take your time. Can you bother, bother? I let's go now. Okay. Right. Let us discuss the nitty-gritty effect of social media and the impact in our immediate society. Maswajo Yibo. Um, mama. Oh yeah, they'll still come back later, eh? It's so bad. Well, uh, nee, thank you so much. Maka, you see me on. Let me see you to the car. Judge you over your way. Yes. Yes, no. Yes, no. Mm. Woman. Yahweh has asked me to tell you that your son's condition is coming to an end. As you have stepped your feet into this temple. Amen. Amen. Mm. <laughs> Look at your son. Hmm? Hey. The boy has a bright future. He has a bright future. But he is surrounded by an enemy, enemy in his same family. Hmm. To fear what? I said it. My prophet, I told her, but she wouldn't listen. I know that that boy's predicament isn't ordinary. Eh? Same family again. Hmm. You are hearing you. Yes, no, I can hear you now. I can hear you. Hmm. Woman, you don't have to be worried. Um, I will write out the list for the sacrifices to perform. And believe me, after three days, your soul will be well again. Amen. He will be well again. Amen. Mm. I will write out the list. Oh, uh, but. You can decide to pay on cash. That's if you wish. Um. Mm -hmm. 
Let me hear from the Lord. Yo, I can hear you. Speak! For your servant is hearing. Hmm, no man, no Okay, woman. You can drop a sum of 100,000 naira for the items and the work machine. My prophet, Uduka here is my sister and a friend. The money is way too much for us to pay. Eh? My own prophet, please give us a little discount now. Mm. I am surprised at you. Are you prizing the work of God? See, let me tell you something. Our Lord is at work. You don't have to prize the work of Yahweh. What he has started, he will perfect it. Woman, you should go. Our Lord will provide. Thank you, Prophet. Didi I am totally confused. 100,000 Naira. Where do I get it from? Eh? You know, Chiamaka will be going back to school by the weekend to commence her exams. Where do I get? She needs money to go back. Where do I get this money from? Uduka, what are you trying to say? Eh? Which of these are more important now? Is it Chiamaka's exam or your son's sanity? Which one are we saying now? Hmm. 100,000 naira. How are we even sure that that man is not a false prophet? Eh? Did you know how, how we have tried to, to, to take care of uh, Nemeka's condition? You know. But everything proves abortive. Nothing is working out. Imano. Are you saying that I will mislead you? Eh? Did you? That is not what I'm saying, you know. It hasn't got into this. Be kokene. What has got into this and even beyond this? Eh? It has passed it. Eh? How can you even say such a thing? Oh, the man, I'm going to assist you with the sum of 20,000 naira. You know what they said now? A friend in need is a friend indeed. Eh? 20,000 naira? Yes, I will support you with 20,000 naira. Eh? I'll bring the money to your house tomorrow after a came market. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. You are much more than a friend. Mm. Eh? My dear, don't Bikon. mention. Eh? Mm. Eh? Mm. Mm. Let me see how mm. I can. Don't worry. Get don't the money. worry. Go with the vibe. Eh? Hey. Thank you so much. God bless you. What eh? will I do now to get 80,000 naira? They can mess it. Don't worry. Don't worry yourself about it. Mama, this Nemeka's case is taking us a lot. And now the prophet is even billing us a hundred thousand naira. <laughs> That's another expenditure. How are we even sure this one will work? How am I supposed to know? Am I the prophet? Eh? Indeed, Yamaka has assured me of him. But I, I, I don't know what else to do. Soon you'll be leaving for school and you need money to go back to school. Uh, Mama, don't worry about me. Collins already gave me money for all I need. I can even give you some. That's if you promise me this will work. Anything for my son. Eh? I have some plantations to cut. And maybe when I'm done doing that, I'll sell them and then save up some money for him. Hmm? Where is he? Do I know? Maybe he walked to the backyard. He's even to let me go and get his food. That's even if he will eat. Honestly, I'm tired of all of this. I, I am just so tired. I don't know what else to do. Tired. He's okay. Tired. Hmm? Let me just get his food first. Also, also succumbed to the idea of seeing a native doctor as opinion by Okonkwa. Eh? 
I insist we keep praying and waiting on God's time. Hey, we always share in this school of thought. That is what our Catholic teaches. Nevertheless, we have fasted, prayed, and booked several masses for Nemeka. But his condition is getting worse. Hey. His mother and sister are over there, spreading my name, telling people that I'm the one holding their son. Hey now, why well, you keep saying yes to that? Look, woman. Stop disturbing my time with Nemeka's issue. I've told you this before. Allow me to stay in my house. There's nothing that I will do that will please that woman. Can't you reason that? Moreover, you are the one that suggested the idea of bringing a charismatic brother who almost made away 300,000 naira from Chino so on Nemeka's issue. Look, woman, anything you intend doing, ensure that you did not involve my son. After nobody knows where Nemeka got this incurable madness. Why the idea? Accusing an innocent man. She also doesn't remember all this. All he wants is for his only cousin brother to be fine. And that is where I stand. I stand together with Kujiegi Ibayano. Come on, come on. I'm This way that you came back from school, thinking that I'm being infected with coronavirus. <laughs> God, not again. Why did I even take this direction? What is it? Forget about that. Thing. It's a love. It's a love. A love. Never can go. <laughs> see, see, see. I, I, I know. Do you want to hurt me? See, wait. Mm, I put a one the money. Mm, I put a one the egg. <laughs> Listen, Okoche, yeah? stop following me around this village. You're embarrassing me. This is the last warning. Stop following me. What is it, self? It's a love. Oh. It is under a little love. In fact, I love you both spiritual and physical. In fact, I am the only person that can marry you in your brother's condition. <laughs> you are mad. You are insane for trolling me with my brother's condition. Uh -huh. Idiot. <laughs> Hopeless, useless, never do well, drunkard. Stop me again. Come on, will you get out? <laughs> Forget about that, you know. Forget about it. In fact, I know. Uh, uh, your brother is mad, automatically mad. See, is your brother that needed urgent attention, not to me. He best knows the one who incurred madness on him. <laughs> if you look now, I am a perfect village drunk. I am far away better than that mad graduate you call your brother. <laughs> Look at me! Look at me! You're hopeless! Me? <laughs> Look at me! Look at me! I'll cut you, okay? I'll cut you when I go past it. I don't mind them, please. <laughs> Nemeka is surrounded by a lot of friendly enemies. But he hardly keep friends except Nandi, his childhood friend. No, it can't be Nandi. Could it be his cousin, Nonso and his father?
妈妈。Nee, you look so worried. Mama, you can't continue like this. Eh? It was you. Mama, please now stop doing this to yourself because you know. Oh. Mama, do you know what? Let's just go inside, oh. Oh, Kaiban, Mama, you can't be doing this. Who's going to Please, now. Mama, pity for you. Mama, no one get better. Please. Oh. Mama, let's just go inside. Enter inside, eh? Mama, if you continue like this, I'm going to be doing it. we've suffered in the hands of fraudulent people, all because of my brother Nemeka. If you ask me, we have exhausted all our options. The only thing left now is for us to be prayerful and remain hopeful. When your father died, I suffered and sacrificed a lot to make sure that the both of you does not lack anything. I, I, I cannot fold my hands and watch my only son waste away. No, I will not. I, I, I trust in the dear mother. She will not mislead me. We have come a long way hmm. to follow her. Mama, I am not comfortable with this whole arrangement. If you ask me, I suggest you wait for Nusu. Who is going to come back any moment for me? I, I don't want any help from them. I don't even know where my son's predicament is coming from. Udimba is a very wicked man. He's wicked. I want to totally avoid him. I, I want to reject everything, anything that comes from that man. He's so wicked. And then, you know, I would, be, I would not fold my hands and, and just watch my son waste away like that. No, I have to make a move as his mother. I will make a move. Mama, you have to be very careful now. Let's not go and enter another problem while we are seeking for solution. Eh? Be careful. I am. I am careful. Yeah. What will happen to me? You think I'm a very wicked man. Eh? And he needs to be avoided. He's wicked. I am aware that you, Ndidi Amaka, you took Jamaka's mother to see fake prophet Dan, right? And where do you get that from? Of course, now we get the village. Mm -hmm. I saw both of you coming out of his chambers. Now let me ask you, are you sure that prophet Dan has all it takes to cure Namaka's madness? We all know that prophet Dan has been in this town for a very long time. And people are fully patronizing his ministry. Are you not saying he's fake? Of course, he's fake, dear. He's fake, you and I know. Ah, what are you telling me? Anyways, uh, I don't mean it like that, though. The first one I allow my course is the whole matter. Now, but what I want you to understand is that lands have been sold in this case. A lot of money has been spent in this particular case. Even also, two have done a lot. Now, you taking Chiamaka's mother to profit Dan is another money. But if you trust your prophet Dan, carry on. But if you know that Prophet Dan is fake, like you and I know that he's fake, let the poor woman save her money until we all find the solution to the madness. Did you get me? The idea is good, but I strongly believe there is no harm in trying. So let's give it a trial. If you don't tell that Prophet Dan or Blue fake, 
ndi jamaka nga coordinate men nga coordinate boys nga coordinate kwa youth ya yeah, him get tigi i will pick you what's your problem how was you going with that all i know for for that is not safe let's just give him a try there is no harm in trying huh let's give him a try I miss you too, baby. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't be long here, okay? <sighs> My brother is getting better. Yes. Don't worry, I'll soon come back. Before midweek, I'll come. At least I can sit for my exams. <laughs> I miss you more. I love you. Bye. I am heading to Ndidiamaka's place. Hmm? Make sure you watch over your brother. And please be conscious of when he wakes up. <sighs> Mama, but the pastor called. Aren't you going to wait for him? I have an important appointment to catch up. On that same old, uh, pastor called. You are my seed. And your mother is no more. I refused to remarry because I had my other children from my first wife who left with her children because of your mother. Even when I know that your mother was a good woman, What is really wrong with my daughter? Let me know. Tell me. Did anyone hurt you? But most nights, you cry. And whenever I ask you, you say, Papa, there is no problem. Yet you pour out more tears. Papa, I am fine. I am just sad because I feel alone most of the time. I feel like I have no one. My mother left me. And the ones I call brothers don't even consider me a sister. They don't see me as their sister. When someone hurts me, when something happens to me, I have no one to want to. I have no one to fight for me. So it makes me sad. It makes me feel dejected. Your father is not happy. Anytime I remember that your mind is not at peace. What is it that is troubling you? Tell me. I know it is not your mother's death. Not even you are brothers who do not care for me. If there is anything you lack, tell me I will provide that for you. Have you paid for your hostel accommodation? No, Papa, I have not. 
Well, remember I told you I I want to move out of that hostel mm -hmm. to another place. Do I have contacted an agent? So I'm waiting for him to get back to me before I go back to school. Yeah, it's all right. If you feel that uh, you don't want that place, you can relocate to another place. Uh, you only have one year left. Hmm? So my daughter, cheer up. Eh? Cheer up. But I'm fine. I'm all right. I'm just. was a good woman, but the God would have dated her. Flora Shaw went and dated Lord Lugard out of so much desire for wealth. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nemeka, so if God inside the room to scatter my bags, so queer, what is even wrong with you? So it's because I told Mama to remove those chains on your leg. Now you're scratching everything in my room. Keep on in for. When I went to Congo to meet with the brothers of Jehu, they were astonished to meet with a very vocal historian of the first century in Bahamas. Oh, there is a cool place that you would enjoy only when you have Kaya with you. Ah, I will return you to see it. You don't have to complain. Ichakupe. I will take you back to the Senate. But when you get there, make sure you return the constitution to where it should belong. Do I make myself clear? Oh. What a handsome young man. Hmm? Whosoever did this to this young man, we know no peace. How is your mother? I, I hope he is not violent. This time. Ichiakukwe, my brother has never been aggressive. Else he's triggered. Okay. Nemeka, give me my wig. Nemeka, give me my wig. Nemeka! Nemeka! Nemeka, give me my wig. If I never. Just look at handsome young man. Well, look at him here. Who can have seen this thing? This boy has a tag of pounds. Man, in a quack, what this boy came out of, came out of. Welcome. How is Amanda? Uh, well, that's exactly why I came to see you. Ichi, please, you can see it. Thank you. Mm. Uh, have you noticed the changes on Amanda of recent time? Even in school. Yes, Ichia Kukwe. Mm. I've noticed recently she's usually on her own. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she would even lock herself in the room crying. Oh. She wouldn't go for lectures. She's just been behaving somehow. Most of her departmental mates have even complained to me. But because we are not in the same department, there's no way I would follow up like that. Uh, Amanda has been your childhood friend. She should be able to tell you whatever that has been troubling her. She cries throughout the night. Even when I try to find what her problem is, she wouldn't tell me anything. I wonder what is wrong with my daughter. Remember, she hasn't been behaving like this, even after the demise of her mother. Ah, I do not know what exactly is wrong with my daughter. Ichi, I would just have to follow up more to know what is exactly wrong. Hmm. 
But it's not like I've not tried to find out the problem, but she wouldn't let me into what is the problem. Yeah. I am troubled as we speak. I will not thread anything with that soul. God save whosoever has done anything, whether human or spirit, to my daughter. But, uh, please, as you guys return to school, make sure she is all right. Hmm? Try and find out what's really is troubling her. I beg of you. It's okay, Chi. I promise to find out. It's okay. I will. All right. Thank you. Bye bye, sir. Thank you. Uh, greet your mother for me, huh? Okay, sir. Thank you. But it's not like Amanda has shown any sign of being broken every time she comes here. But something is really not okay with her. There's something. Judge over Amanda. Judge over Amanda. Mm, mm. Mm. Rejoice for liberation has set in today. Amen. <laughs> Yahweh has taken over. Yahweh has taken over all your problems. Amen. <laughs> mm. Drop the money here. Uh, I hope the money is complete. It's complete. <laughs> if it's not complete, <laughs> you can't fight your way. <laughs> you can't fight your way, woman. Mm. Okay, um. I'll be fasting and praying indoor for seven days. Seven good days. Seven good days I'll be with the Lord. Mm. And I'll give you olive oil to rub on his forehead for seven days. And after that, your son's sanity shall be restored. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you, Prophet. One more thing. You must ensure that no one hears about this. That won't be a problem, Prophet. Uh, but I was hoping you would uh, tell me the cause of his mental illness and who did this to my son. Woman, that won't be necessary. The good news is that your son's sanity is going to be restored. Our Yahweh is at work. Though I told you from the onset that the problem your son is having is from the immediate family. But our good Lord is at work. It's going to be okay. You people will give me some minutes. Let me prepare and pray over the oil. I can't thank you enough, my good friend. Eh? What would I have done without you? His way is simpler than I imagined. I told you. That man is very powerful. Eh? Don't mind all these eh, pastors that will keep giving you numerous psalms to read as if you are writing for Waye. Mm. You heard it from him that Nemeka's problem is within the family. Now tell me, who else? Who them ban? Oh no. I knew it. <laughs> but I'm so happy that the miracle is happening already. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 
But hey. remember, he says no one needs to hear about this. That means you have to caution your daughter, Chiamaka. As for me, my children are not around and I wouldn't even dare. Hey, that won't be a problem, mm. my friend. Mm. Say, Chiamaka doesn't even talk much. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's not a problem. Mm. I'm so happy. <sighs> Thank you so much. Mm. I don't know that there are still good men of God out there. They are out. I believe that. I believe you. Someone. Lectures are started already. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Chimamanda. Mm? That reminds me. You had to bring back the behavior you were exhibiting in school back to your old man. Eh? Why now? He had to even come here to ask me if I knew what was wrong with you. But I told him I don't know. Eh? Chimamanda Akukwe. Thank God we are no longer in school. We are here now. Can you at least tell me what is wrong with you? Bikono. Where is your brother Nemeka? He's probably at the backyard sleeping. But what is, where is my brother? Is that what I asked you? The devil lives in this house. And that devil will not go scot-free. He will not go scot-free. Chimamanda! Chimamanda! 